Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town, and today I wanted to turn the school subjects into monster designs. I haven't done a monster design in forever, and honestly, I was just dying to. So we're going to start with my, uh, well, what would have been my favorite class, which is art class. I actually never took an art class in high school or middle school. Um, I jumped straight into art school, so that's kind of weird, I guess. But my initial idea for art school as a monster was to do some sort of like ooze paint monster and I started thinking a lot about like horror in art class and what that could even look like. Um, so I started with this sort of pose. I wanted to make it look like she's almost like a god, like she could create whatever she wants and I put her in this very powerful stance because of that. And then I realized something really cool to do would be to show some of her internal anatomy. Now truthfully, um, for reasons I just explained, I guess, I don't actually know if you usually cover a lot of like internal anatomy in drawing course in middle and high school, but uh, definitely anatomy was one of my biggest, most difficult classes in art school, and that involved drawing a lot of skeletons and skulls and um, muscle striations on both animals and humans. It was very educational and very hard. It was like the closest that we had to a math or science class, I feel like, um, that in perspective. So I definitely wanted to feature some of that in my monster design and have sort of this like hole poking through her where you can see her vertebra. Um, and part of her pelvis as well. Uh, I just remember drawing skeletons a lot, so it was something that made a lot of sense for me. Okay, so I know at this point she doesn't look too special, but the reason that I didn't go too crazy with her design is that I knew I was going to go really dramatic with the color. Um, I knew right from the start I wanted her to look like she's kind of covered or made of paint. Um, and I even had some paintbrushes sort of sticking out of her pseudo bun in her hair. Um, but I wanted to do some really dramatic coloring. I started with this red underpaint color, and then I colored most of her skin extremely dark um, and then had a pastel rainbow sort of all around. Um, I think this color palette's actually so cute, um, so I thought it would be fun to offset the like horror of the monster design with this uh, color palette that I like so much. Um, and uh, I just kind of had her with some like mist or fog from her hands. Again, I was trying to get this impression that she's like, she has the capacity to create anything or maybe destroy anything. Um, and I really wanted to give her that sort of sense. Um, I feel like there's a lot of association with artists with like madness as well. So I wanted her to look a little bit wild, um, a little unpredictable. Uh, I think for better or worse, that is a <laughs> somewhat accurate um, stereotype about artists. So I definitely wanted to include that in the art class monster design. Design. And then I just added a little bit of shine on her so that her paint looks a little more liquidy and reflective. Next up is math, um, and I honestly, if I had a class that I was actually scared of, it would definitely be math. Uh, I always felt like I had a relatively easy time in school and I really enjoyed school, um, but the one area where I did really have to apply myself and like actually try pretty hard was with math, and I'm not exactly sure how that happened, I just think it's not something that I had a natural aptitude for. Um, or at very least, after I had my like grade skip, I feel like I had the hardest time catching up with math versus the other classes where it wasn't as difficult. Um, so for this monster, I really wanted to um, try to uh, convey the complexity of this subject, um, and I thought it would be fun to have a three-headed monster design. Um, each one has a slash over their face that represents multiplication, addition, or division. Um, I didn't add subtraction, but we're just going to ignore that because um, the, the three heads look better, I think. <laughs> uh, and I wanted them to almost look sort of like uh, like a biblical angel, kind of angel of death sort of vibe. Um, I think math has a lot of association with like, you know, the, the sacred geometry and, and that kind of thing. There's, there's sort of a, uh, there's a complexity to it, but as well a connection to the natural world that makes it feel sort of um, strangely celestial and otherworldly to me. Maybe it's just because I don't understand it as well. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I wanted to kind of go for that sort of vibe. And also the fact that math is one of those subjects with only one right answer. So I wanted to include this like feeling of like judgment of like a deity um, because, you know, there's no there's no wiggle room. It's not like art or English. 
um, or even science to some extent where you can approach things from multiple different angles. It feels like math is one of the most like restrictive in the way that you come to your answer and like there's only one right way to come to it as well, which I also think is kind of lame. Like I know a lot of us had a lot of hacks of ways that we got through math formulas and stuff, but um, at least at my school, you know, you had to show your work and show that you were doing it the exact way that they taught you. So um, anyway, it's just one of my gripes about math, I guess. Um, I had uh, these like rulers and a triangle around the necks of these characters as well. I just think it looks cool. And I think because geometry was the class I had the most trouble with. I actually loved algebra. It was kind of like a puzzle, but uh, geometry, I just I hated memorizing the formulas and I had a really hard time with proofs and that kind of thing. So yeah, I definitely wanted to include those um, measuring tools and shapes. Um, and I felt like it all fit in relatively well. For this one, especially because I'd gone so hard on the color with art class, I really wanted to go with an almost completely black and white um, color palette. And then I had the like slashes or bits of light over their face, um, a bright red. So we're kind of doing that like little pop of color just to make it really dramatic. And I added a little bit of blush on the fingertips and the cheeks um, just to make their skin look more skin-like and less just totally like flat and gray. Um, and I honestly really like how they came out. I think that they're interesting and while I was definitely not sure about how I was showing Division's face with one eye sort of floating up to represent the other dot on the other side of the slash, I actually kind of like it and I think it was worth the risk. For the next monster design, we're going to do science. Um, science is pretty easy, and I, I had an idea initially and then uh, came across something I think that works even better that I added onto it. Uh, my initial idea was just sort of a mad scientist type vibe. Um, I think that that's, you know, pretty pretty normal place to go from here. Um, so I gave her a little, like, ventilator, uh, gas mask type thing um, for when you're, you know, mixing chemicals or, in my case, like, like in instances where I've done like doll refacings and certain dealing with certain types of paint um, but uh, yeah I wanted to give her like the beakers and stuff just giving off the impression that she's she's mixing volatile chemicals in the lab um, and I gave her a lab coat that's sort of like drifting off um, and then I thought of the idea of having her stomach sort of like uh, open up like a, like frog dissection which I think is a very classic like uh, traumatizing middle or high school assignment when you have to dissect something. Um, f back in the past, it's been frogs a lot. Um, I know in elementary school I had to dissect a like a salmon, um, and the boys in my class uh, were like poking the eyes and doing all kinds of gross stuff with the salmon and. Um, I just was not like I, I wasn't super like phobic of gross things but I was mo more upset just about like the dead animal aspect of it um, I think I was it made me feel bad <laughs> so I guess I'm trying to kind of go back into that uh, mindset when I was younger and, and get to the horror of that um, just the idea of like when you know when you're surrounded in other kids and everyone's going to be really immature and not the most hygienic i think <laughs> it can be kind of rough um if you're more of a sensitive kid so that's definitely one that i wanted to sort of reach to for this design and then i gave her just some sort of zombie-esque um kind of <laughs> green for her skin as well as leaving her irises um or sorry not her irises like her sclera uh, the whites of her eyes uh, very red um it looks like she's been compromised by some kind of T virus or something, um, and is now this sort of shambling, uh, dissected mad scientist. So that's what we came up with. She's also holding onto strands of DNA. This looks so dumb to me now, but <laughs> that's what I went with. Um, and here she is all finished up. Next up, I wanted to do PE or gym class uh, as a monster design. Uh, this one I went more of like a serial killer-y vibe, I guess. Um, I knew right away I wanted to have this character holding like a bat. In my PE class, we did a lot of like pseudo sport kind of stuff. Um, we played a lot of kickball and uh, it was very rowdy and intense. Um, I didn't like it personally. I was in my like emo phase for a lot of the time that I was in middle school and so my clothes were not very good for gym. We didn't have any like gym uniforms so like 
I would just <laughs> have to be running around in like these long black skirts and it was just it was pretty miserable um and we also had like we didn't have time to like shower or anything before or after um so I just never really wanted to exert myself that much because otherwise you'd have to sit around for the rest of the day at school um being all sweaty and stuff um I think gym is kind of horrifying in its own way like you have to change in front of your peers when you're like actively going through puberty which is already like a nightmare and then on top of that like you might get hit in the face and get your na glasses knocked off um, during kickball which definitely happened to me more than once <laughs> um, but uh, yeah I mean uh, for this character I really just wanted to lean into the sort of sadistic nature of PE I feel like there is something about it where like all other classes if you're not doing well you know your peers don't really get to see that like your teacher might even flip over your paper so that other people don't see like if you got a bad grade but in PE it's like not only can uh, your classmates see that you're doing bad but also like you know it's you're kind of like actively pitted against each other um, <laughs> if uh if you're a kid who's like not super coordinated which i would definitely was not and it was not in a fun mary sue kind of clumsy way it was like actually like i'm not a benefit to the team so yeah definitely some horror there um i gave him like <laughs> these tiny 80s booty shorts <laughs> which was more just a nod to like horror um tropes i guess and like the outfits of like Johnny Depp in Nightmare on Elm Street, um, so that's kind of the reference there, and also just because these, you know, gym shorts it kind of looks like the outfits that people would wear in gym class, at least in TV. Um, honestly, I don't know why we didn't have gym uniforms. <laughs> now it seems kind of strange, um, but anyway, uh, here he is, our sadistic uh, gym character. Uh, he has a bat and looks like he's going to hit you with it. Here they all are together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions for videos in the future, please let me know and I'll see you in the next one. A huge thank you to all of my patrons, including Grexius, Olia, Liddy Savior, Roro, Rayons, Vorpal Matt, Brandon Stark, CB, Crosby F, Lucy Amajiki, Liv Liv, Salty Jack Rabbit, Raven's Crow, Zocelot, T Hill Music, Jabber Dabber Doo, Kadaria, Deadly Nightshade Art, Astral Fox Art, The Expressive Poker Face, Subaki, Cutie Pie, Rune Raincrow, Ice Cream Pal, Cola, JJ Jade, and of course, Blah 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 Blah.